Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today we're going to be talking about the person who wrote the Declaration of Independence, who is, of course, Timothy Matlack. You thought I was going to say Jefferson, didn't you? No, no, no. Thomas Jefferson certainly authored the Declaration of Independence, but Timothy Matlack wrote the copy we know today, also known as engrossing. So let's get into it. Timothy Matlack actually had spent some time in debtor's prison for some failed businesses, and then he became a beer bottler. But he was friends with many revolutionaries, and Charles Thompson, who was a long-time secretary of the Continental Congress, hired uh, Matlack on to work as a clerk for the Continental Congress. So he did this, and everyone noticed that Matlack had really nice penmanship, so they asked him to do some engrossing. And for those of you who don't know, basically engrossing is when you take something someone else wrote and you rewrite it with your nicer penmanship to make it look sexier, for lack of a better term. So uh, the first, during the first Continental Congress, the initial time Matlack was asked to do this was for a letter to that the first Continental Congress sent to King George. Um, and from there, he many official documents he would do this for, including George Washington's commission as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army. Uh, at the time, when you were given an officer's position, you were commissioned, and you were literally handed a piece of paper that said that was your job, so you could verify it for people. And eight years later, when George Washington resigned as Commander-in-Chief to the Continental Congress, he returned his commission that Timothy Matlack had wrote. It was on Maybe it wasn't on Washington's person for all eight years of the war, but it was certainly with his things. Uh, after this, of course, the Declaration of Independence was written, and it was sent to John Dunlap to make copies of, but Timothy Matlack was given a copy to engross, and it's that copy that he engrossed that all the other founders eventually signed. Not all the other founders, all the other signers of the Declaration signed the copy that Matt Le Timothy Matlack made look so, so pretty. Uh, Matlack actually had a lot more as a founder. He, actually, he did spend time in the war. He was a colonel in the Philadelphia militia, and he led men across the Delaware River with George Washington and the rest of the Continental, the main body of the Continental Army. <clears throat> Excuse me. He worked, uh, so as someone from Philadelphia, Matlack was in that city when the British came and then the British left, and George Washington placed Benedict Arnold in charge of Philadelphia as military governor, and uh, working with others, Matlack was a significant player in getting, in accusing ben Benedict Arnold of some of his, uh, of abusing his power. And this, of course, was one of the famous last straws in Benedict Arnold turning to treason. <laughs> um, uh, Matlack also, uh, from there on, uh, he, Matlack did spend a year as a Continental Congressman himself. Uh, he kind of fades from the founding then. He retires not long after that. He spent time as a, uh, as a clerk for the Pennsylvania's executive board. Pennsylvania, for a while, there didn't have a governor. It had an, a board of people, and it was kind of a mess, and he was clerk for that board, which was a very powerful position. Um, and it was at this point that Matlack was one of the first true abolitionists in American history, and he made a big stink about it and helped make Pennsylvania in 1780 be the first state to outlaw slavery. So, thumbs up on that, Timothy Matlack. And then, always a character, Timothy Matlack retired to a farm where he grew uh, peaches. He had a peach orchard. And interestingly, he actually had a very well-known peach orchard. Of course, this is a time where most of the founders, especially the wealthier men, really liked to experiment with things like agriculture. They were trying to find new, uh, not breeds, but um, uh, strains uh, also the wrong word, um, but new varieties of fruits and vegetables and, and breeding animals and things like that. So being the best known peach producer in the young nation may sound like 
something insignificant, but actually it was very important, and he was known to sit on his farm, presumably of slurping peaches. I shouldn't say he was known for that. I assume he's just sitting around slurping peaches outside Philadelphia. Um, but that's the story of Timothy Matlack, who is the founder who literally wrote the Declaration of Independence. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down in the comments section. Uh, if you like this, please hit like. It really helps me out. And if you want to subscribe so you can get more of my videos, one, two, three, four, five days a week, make sure you do that. But today is Friday, so there won't be one tomorrow, and there won't be one the day after. But I will see you on Monday.